Welcome to Bader International's Classic Online Motorcycle Sales. This cool little bike is a 1924 BSA Model L. This bike is an absolute true survivor. And this was family owned for many, many years. And then a few years back was purchased into a museum or private collection. And that's where I picked it up from. But the bike looks to be all original, unmolested. And just a really, really cool machine. You can tell when something hasn't been screwed with because all the little items are just, it's all there. It has not been, well, what can I say? breathed on, screwed with, messed with, lost, replaced. And a lot of these little items like this you just never see, you know, these little catches and so on. But everything about this bike is just in really, really nice condition. Obviously somebody had these boxes made for them. Never heard of them. Uh, Vey Saddlery Company. They put 1924 on the side of the box. Really doesn't go with the bike, so if I was going to put the bike in a lineup or, or keep it, I would um, go ahead and remove these boxes and just uh, keep them aside because the, the fit and finish just does not match the patina of the motorcycle. Exhaust is in very nice condition. The old original rubbers on the floorboards. Looks to be an absolute original paint. Even you can see the shellac that they laid over the pinstriping back in the day. And you can usually tell when something was, let's say, put together to make it look old. And this is definitely not one of those bikes. This bike is just a true, true survivor. Has the acetylene headlight, taillight, king of the road. All the controls work nicely. Little BSA badges on top of the oil and gas caps. EC Magneto. All of the reflector and everything is still in the headlight. Your carbide generator. All the oil caps are there. I mean, just totally, totally complete. Of course, when I bought the bike, it had the rubber bulb, but uh, it didn't survive the, the uh, transportation down from Newfoundland to California. So if I had to sacrifice one thing, I'm happy that uh, it was just that rubber. Yeah, that can be purchased. They do sell those, those little bulbs. Cool little tail light. It's interesting, it looks like this seat may have been reupholstered years ago, but this may just be the way it is. I can almost see a logo back here where the two rivets used to be. The impression of the, uh, the logo is still in the leather. But it's reported to run and run well. I have not started it. We just got this in yesterday, so I wanted to get it up on the website as quickly as possible. But I'm sure here in a little bit I'll do a video of the bike uh, running and riding. So, but I'm really happy to have this bike in. I mean, it's it's a really really nice bike. Would make an excellent addition to any collection. Ah, wait a minute. Look here. I just noticed this. Maybe some of you already did. Here's the bugle. 
Ta-da! <laughs> and it also has the tire pump underneath it, so it's amazing what you can find when you look for things. But uh, so here's the bugle. It's there. I imagine it's probably going to need a little bit of coaxing to make it work. But the bugle is there. Well, this motorcycle, along with many others, can be viewed on our website at www.baterinternational.com or you can call me direct at 805-798-1802 and I'll be happy to speak to you about it.